Right, this is the point. Boom, you move on. So, and it's always about the challenge. See, the thing is, at 13, I learned the secrets to success. 13, I decided I wanted to get back in the game. I didn't want to be felt sorry for. I didn't want to hang out. To me, it was like automatically, see, most people don't get this because everybody I talk to is like, I don't know what I'm going to do. You know, I don't have goals. I don't have... To me, it was simple. It's like, I'm down. I want to get back in the game. I want to be like everybody else. That's why I wanted to ride the bike. The bike was like liberation because I was fast as a kid. I was athletic. It didn't take any time. I was beating all the kids with two legs. I was so, so athletic. It was like, now I'm equal. I put it on that machine, I'm equal. So it was all about setting goals. I want to ride the bike. I'll do it. So you start to manipulate things. You start to adjust. See, that's what adaptability is about. And that's what we learn as disabled or differently able. You learn adaptation. It's like, oh, survival of the fittest, right? To get back in. If that's your goal, to get back in the game, immediately. So at 13, I got it down. I'm learning all the tricks. Don't listen to the word impossible. Keep moving. Da -da 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 -da. Try this, try that. If that doesn't work, go up, go down, go over. And you, once that's ingrained in you, once that operating system is in, almost nothing can stop you. So I ended up in the, the medical field, and uh, like I told you. And uh, so I started to do all these crazy things. I ride the bike. The, the best thing they ever did for me is put me in a pool right away. I never really knew how to swim. And by that virtue of that, this great gal taught me how to swim. And all of a sudden, now I'm fast. Not only on a bicycle, I'm fast in the water. And I'm beating all the kids. And it's just, so now I turn, and I always tell people, I talk to a lot of cancer survivor groups. And I hate the term survivor. And you know, this, and one of my pet peeves about our society today is we somehow coddle the victim, the underdog, you know? And when you do that, you see, that's okay. It's okay to have empathy. It's okay to do that. But you can't, once you start getting, feeding into somebody's victimization, all right, we're in trouble. So you gotta move on. So I looked at the stages of cancer and cancer survival. And the problem with a lot of cancer survivor groups I talk to is they, there's this feeling of like victim, victimization and survivorship, which is great. And I go, okay, you survived. But I, see, I looked beyond it, and I said, well, there's a stage of cancer. You're a victim, obviously, you get hit with cancer, as I was, and a survivor stage. That is just two of the stages. And it's not only the stages of surviving cancer, it's the stages of where you go all the way in your life. What do you want to be? See, because what they did to me is they took me and they put me in a pool. And immediately, it went from Oh, the poor kid lost his leg, let's put him in a whatever. No, let's get him out, get him moving. And so, the, and this is way before all the programs we have today. So, here I am, all of a sudden, for the first time in my life, not only I, I can swim, I couldn't swim before. You know, it's like the old thing with the surgeon, you know, you have a phone, <coughs> put surgery in your hands, and the guy says, Well, have you ever played the piano? He says, Yeah. He says, Great. He says, I can't play it now. So, so, I, so, he's a lousy joke. so anyway. <laughs> So I'm in the pool. So I realized the stage after survivorship is what? Becoming a player, right? Playing the game of life. The second stage is, is I was good, so I started what? Winning. I became a winner. So I went from survive, victim to survivor to player to winner. <clears throat> if you win enough times, we know this in this city, what do you become? Champion. champion. That's right. And then if you're great and you become a champion, after a while, what do the champions do? They can't play in the field. They become what? Coaches, you see this progression here? See the progression of life? You, instead of thinking of yourself as stuck, you think of yourself as a victim, instead of thinking of yourself as a survivor, now you're a player, now you're a winner, now you're a champion, now you're a what? You're a coach. Okay, and then there's one phase after that, especially for cancer survivors. You become what? Anybody got any idea? What's a step? You become a mentor. There's another little step. You become like the coach's coach, right? There's one step after that. Everybody wants to be this in life, really. If you're going to do this to the world and make it okay, you become what? A healer. And so this final stage is, that's what my goal in life is, is to do this every single day and plant these seeds that it doesn't have to be the way you think it is. It's all perception. It's all, it's, there are, there's no impossibilities. So I started 
learn how to swim, learn how to write. Right now, I want to play all the games. And I ended up later in life learning how to fly. Fishing was my passion as a kid. It's one of the things I asked the doctor, are we going to be able to fish? Yeah. So I take out fly fishing, and I meet these guys, crazy guys that are fly fishing down in New Zealand. And I said, can I go to New Zealand with you? So we go down there, and uh, we, we, uh, we're fly fishing these rivers. And one of the things I learned to do is if, um, I, if I run into water with my prosthesis, these things are made with titanium and foam around the outside. So when you go in the water, the foam overbalances, compensates for the titanium. So what do you think happens? Floats. Yeah. So I'll be in the water like this, and all of a sudden, losing my balance, and I look, and there's a lake in the water. <laughs> and it's about like this, floating in the water. And it's a river, so what's it going to do? It goes downstream, so I'm like, <laughs> So I realized I can't do that anymore, because all day long I'd be like, pushing this. So I, I learned to fly fish with my crutches. We go down to New Zealand, and my buddy says, we got a great trip plan. He says, I got a, we're going out to the bush with a, 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 an outback pilot. He's going to take us up in his, his plane, and we're going to fish where nobody else fish. I'm like, great. Now, you got to understand, this is what, everything is attitude. In the southern hemisphere, I found, because I've been down there many times, <laughs> they don't do PC like we do, okay? In fact, it's hard to find sometimes. So we go in, and he drops me off and finds a parking space. I crutch into this bush pilot's office with one leg missing, and the bush pilot is behind his desk, and he looks at me, and he says, I said to him, hey, how you doing, Nick? And he goes, oh, he says, he looks like this. He goes, I'm doing great now. <laughs> See where this is going? <laughs> I love this. Most